Hey there stampers. This is the next card we're going to do today. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Uh, we need um, a piece of four and a quarter by eleven and a half vanilla, very vanilla. That's just a half a sheet of cardstock. And we need a piece that's four by five and a quarter. So you're going to take your um, card base and you're going to obviously uh, fold it in half and score it and you know use a bone folder or crimp it down then on this piece what we're going to do um, we're using today the papillion potpourri stamp set and we're going to use this little butterfly and this antenna we're using melon mambo and I'm going to put the little butterfly down here in the corner up a little bit because you want to get that thinking of you and then you got the cute little antennas and do those in melon mambo as well very cute love it love it alright now thinking of you it's going to be done in soft suede right across the bottom there we go root, root. and the thinking of you comes out of teeny tiny wishes that's a great set it has everything you need and they're small and yeah, I use it I've used it a lot as a matter of fact it was in our old wood box cases and I like the new ones so well because they stack nicely with the uh, clear mounts that I ordered them and then I just brought the stamps over and put them in a box and then copied the page out of the um, catalog so I know what goes in the set. So, okay, so we got that done. So then the next step is to make all these little butterflies up here. And that's real simple. You'll, this is a great one for using uh, scraps up. So I went and got a scrap here. And this is the Biddy Butterfly Punch. And you just take and slide it clear up. Clear up into the stamp. I mean into the punch. Punch it. Make sure you save this little butterfly. I actually have a big box I throw all my little pieces in so that when I need um, a really quick something to throw on a card I've got it. Here is the artisan punch and you see how nice because I slid it all the way up it just centered it perfectly for me. You kind of have to watch side by side but um, did a really good job. Alright punch that out. Alright so we have this piece and you're going to do it twice more because you want three you're going to want three total butterflies, all right? Once you get them punched out, then you're going to go get the embossing folder, perfect polka dots. And you're going to run that. You're just going to, you can do all three at the same time. You're going to run it through your big shot. And when you come out, it'll look just like this. It'll have cute little polka dots all over it. All right, so then the next step is to go get some designer series paper three different colors. This comes out of one of our stacks, uh, paper stacks. It's the Brights. Um, it's in the catalog. Um, look at the recipe in, down a little further on the blog and you'll see um, the number and where to find it in the book. And you're going to take that artisan punch and you're going to go back and you're going to punch out one of each color. Then after you've got one of each color you're going to put a little double of glue here and here. Um, you've turned this over now. The, the polka dots are facing down. And then you're going to take this and they're going to lay perfectly on top of each other and you're going to see the cute little butterfly peeking through. You're going to do that for all three. So you're going to have three different colors. Rich Razzleberry, um, Daffodil Delight, and um, Melon Mambo. All right, so then you are going to take and put dimensionals on the back. Take your first card layer that you put your stamped butterfly on. And I always take and line it up. Do the center one first. And I always line it up. Um, I just put that one down because it makes it easier. Because then you can come back in and... 
judge the spacing from that center one. See how easy that was? All right, and then to finish the card off, I'm going to take my green green glue. Get all the margins even. And there you go. I made this in one of my classes. Um, the, the, what I want you to take away from this video is how many other um, punches can you do this to where you can stamp inside the other, like an ornament inside of a circle or, you know, it's endless. So I hope you get your punches out. I hope you think about it and maybe come up with a couple of cards where you've got a, um, a double punch with the pretty colors showing through. Okay, till next time. See ya.